only use Charizard for like, when this game first came out. Right. We're, and weirdly enough, he actually did pretty well with only Charizard. Right. Like, he would play very passively and like just wait for hits a lot of time. And whenever, whenever he died, he'd get about the Squirtle. He just char he just like he just like run away for a bit. Go back to, and switch to Ivysaur, et cetera, et cetera. Go back to Charizard. And then he starts like doing you know norm normal Smash stuff. <laughs> but yeah, it's uh. crazy. Yeah, let me let me know for sure. Like, if if, they, if they any matches that Bowman Trainers like start with a different character on. Right. And here we go. We have Mario versus Shulk. Mario and Shulk. I feel like Shulk probably wins this one. To be honest, the range, Shulk's range is incredible. Shulk in general is just is just an incredible character. Right. Yeah, but it's like that earlier saying that you know, like once Mario gets in, you know, Shulk's gonna struggle to kind of like get out of the situation. He does have the up the yeah, shield, the very fast burst option. All right. Oh, which is a quick 40, yeah. Like, Shulk will get, like, a lot of, like, single hits. You know, like, that one fair, that one down tilt. But he won't get, like, extended combos. But Mario will get all those extended combos and then some. Yeah, Shulk will mo mostly just get, like, a, like, a bunch of one-two combos, a bunch of single hits over and over. The biggest thing, though, is just that those Manal Arch is just super good for and what did you use the double everything up? he needs, really. Yeah. Then they're just beating out the the the, the nair. But here we go, back throw and not gonna be able to find a slide. And yet again, now Mario's going to struggle to find that oh. that, that slug gimp off stage because Nico's not gonna let him. Oh, that was good. Yeah. He was expecting the second hit there, but unfortunately Nico actually grabbed the ledge so he couldn't even get the second hit. And Nico's gonna be looking a lot like in neutral like this. Nico's gonna be looking a lot for like the last like the when, when layer hits of neutral layers. He's gonna look for a lot like the first the early hit of like of his neutral layers as well too. Like just it's gonna be and that leads into a lot of like his two combos in general. Barely getting a ledge there. That was super good. Yeah, but like when he panics and then like presses the button immediately after like getting on ledge and gets that get up attack instead. And Master Mario just gonna throw out a back air and take that stock. Ooh. Oh, I like it, I like it, I like it. You know, Master Mario, he's one of those players where, like, I hit you once, I have advantage, I'm going to kill you if I can. Master Mario is super good, just in, in general. His neutral is very impeccable. He's very good, just, like, do stuff like that, really. Just, like, if you just mix things up, just trip up opponents just in general. It's like that. Like, he caught his lane there with his up smash after, after he spot dodged. Like, it's super good. I feel like what makes Master Mario such a good player is that he makes you pick an option that you think is safe, and then he kills you for it. You know, Nico game a lot mental right here, getting those three hits there, racking up about forty percent, and now he's in kill percent with Smash Now outs. Right. They can. Oh, never mind. I don't think Nico's in kill percent just yet. Smash Now. Yeah. Good thing he switched out of Smash Win Auto just to like say like, I'm not gonna get killed by a Mario up air, up air, up B combo at fifty. Or really just like a smart smash attack at that point. Right. And flood. To Eventually the ledge. he'll get the ledge. Very slowly. Oh no. Oh. He got sniped by the fireball and pressed the button. Yeah, I think if he might he might buffer I think he might have buffered four uh just forward air right there is what happened. Right. Because like I, th I think he's about to jump in the forward air. Like he's probably gonna jump in up B and then like he pressed the second hit and then like uh Yeah. The, the thing that it yeah. happens, it happens. Yeah. Just gotta bring it back in game two for sure. Super, super clean play from Master Mario, though. All right. And here we go to game two, running it back. I feel in this game, Nico's going to be seeing back a bit more in this friendly Master Mario approach. That's what happened there. Right. And yet again, you know, Master Mario just playing the, the really patient game, you know, once he gets that, like, bear and, like, oh ooh. my god. <laughs> I don't care if you're in shield. That shield ain't gonna save you from this fist. Actually, it, it might actually. Oh my god. Well, here we go. There's the fair train. And, you know, he wanted one more fair. He wanted one more fair I to like just it. end Mario off stage, but not gonna be able to quite find it. And here's the smash art. Yeah, he knows yeah, like okay, I didn't get that one hit. I'm I'm not gonna like risk losing the stock. I know some of watching Nico's of, uh, in general and watching Nico over the years, just like Nico's really Nico always just, like when if you can't get that one hit with, with nice, very good fortune there. If you can't get that one hit with Smash Art just to take just to take away his stock, like he's gonna immediately switch out of every single time. 
Right. He's not going to risk it. Ooh, that, but that quick down ooh. tilt to Roar Bear will uh, finish off that stock. Now, hanging on ledge just a, a little bit too long. That's a really good ledge drop sprint there. I have not seen that before, actually. Super good there from Master Mario. Ooh, should have to get him, get him, out, get him out of that combo every single time, though. Right. And yet again, you see Nico just like throwing out all these arrows, trying to hope that Mario runs into it. But you no, know, Master Mario being a little bit smart, just waiting for him to just like sneak in and get in that hit. I thought I was about to go for the up, up air right there. Right. <laughs> right after the up tilt. But that's a Smash 4 thing. <laughs> you can't do that in this game, it's not true. And yet again, not quite going to be able to find this mark, but you know, Nico does have Smash on and he's only at 48%, so if he can find this one hit, but you know what? Not going to be that dash attack, that's for sure. Because Mario is going to just combo him off of that. He would have shield that though. He couldn't just couldn't get away from the, from the combo at all. So barely able to kill though. Up to it, we'll take it though. Up, right. Social tilt being very, very good. Just in general. And here we go. Gets the grab off of the fireball. And you know, he's trying to find another one. But oh, almost getting the raw back out of that though. All right. You guys have to be really careful of the ledge. Mass Mario is, is scanning that out. Just in general really easily. Uh, and you know he he's looking for that uh, run up down tilt too because you know if you hang on ledge it'll just a little bit too long waiting for Mario to do something you're gonna get that down tilt to Rar Bear. But that up smash out of shield will I beat out that second stock. I thought he lost for some reason. Uh, and Nico's playing really well right now in that case. Right, but I mean this is last stock and Mario's only at 46%. That is not a good enough lead. Oh no, there's the air dodge, but no one barely makes it back. No, Nico reading the high recovery and not catching the long one. And again, like Mario's just making up all this damage again. Should I, we'll take him out of that combo this time. Right. Oh, Nico just getting in all these hits. Now he's just trying to find that one last hit that will like send Mario off stage so that he can get a fair off stage. But here's the smash R. He Looking for that up air, he's looking for oh. that up tail. He's looking for anything at this point. Literally anything, including that up yeah, shield. Yep. Super good option there from Nico. Taking game two with his shield. And yet again, I can't change the future. <laughs> so good. So yet again, Nico taking game two. Now, Mar Master Mario running it back. You know, this has been like a super close set between the two. I could really go either way. Oh, yeah. That was a super good game right there, especially. We'll see what they can do in Game 3, though. See, we'll see. Is that matchup seems a lot more even than I th initially thought it would be. Like, the range doesn't seem to be too much of a problem in general for Master Mario. Right. He's had like, just an easy time getting in, just getting a lot of damage on Nico. And here we go, the up throw combos, but you know, Nico's able to just use shield in the middle of it to kind of just break out. This time, fall into the platform as well, too. Before, you like when you shield, you have a combo, you just stay on the platform, and Master Mario was able to get just a lot more damage off of that. So this time, he's not worried about that. This time, he, can't, he also can't shield out of that one. All right. And yet again, here's the bear butt. Trying to go for the forward smash, but that's going to get stuffed out by the forward air. And here's the back throw off stage. And yet again, finds the down tilt to Roar Bear, but... Ooh, gets the, the, the double bear. Ooh, oh, yeah. yeah, I'll do it. You know, you could see Master Mario be like, okay, like last time I did it for like a third time and you made it back and stage. let me throw out a bear in case like you actually like do like drift and like not air dodge back. I really like, I really like the use of, of uh, Master Mario's flood, in this, or Mario's flood in this case, because like, shows the character that has to recover low a lot, and something Flood's really good at is when, when someone has to recover low, he just catches them every time, right. like in, in the act of doing so. If, if he... And he's, Master Mario's been in such a good position as well, too, that whenever he even goes for Flood, if he tries to air out straight ledge, he gets sniped every time. Yep. Now, here we go. Master Mario, like, struggling to find a landing at this point. He gets fared off stage. You know, he's going to get another one. But, no, he uses the cape to stall his recovery just long enough to avoid it. But that back air will take out that stock. And, you know what? Nico's only at 66%. So, you know, he really cleaned up that, that second stock right there. So they're just both looking for that one hit. There's the down tilt to bear. Down tilt to bear is so good. I'm surprised I haven't seen that until now. That's super good. And there we go. Up smash just beating it out before you can get out of a bear. 
So, and again, Master Mario taking that stock without losing any single percent. Master Mario's catch on a lot to what Nico's trying to do in general. He, right. he seems to catch on to what Choke uh, was mostly looking for in terms of his combos, which is like, Ooh. oh my god, okay. He got the jab lock, but unfortunately, like, I feel like the it shield like gave him a little bit less hit stun so that he couldn't punish it any further. It was flashy, at least. I like it. Yeah. But yeah, like, he, he's catching on to, like, when, it, when, Nico's trying, when, when he was going for the Nair, especially. That's what he's mostly going to go for in neutral stars combos. That first hit, especially, is he's actually starting to punish a lot more now. Right. And, like the first like initial like start up of the animation, that's really good. Like just gain a lot for that say at least. Right. And now here we go on last stock for game three. Here again, both players are just you know trying to etch their way into the the other's like unbreakable zone. This is the best of five as well too, so right. it's not the last end of the set after this. Again, quick throw off stage. No, does he do the edge guard? No, he's just gonna let Nico come back on the stage. No. Oh, oh. Yeah. that up smash! Just that little bit of charge actually—I think it was able to actually uh, kill Shulk in this case. All right. Although I was thinking of it just a bit too short of it. That was, that was good there. It was very good for Master Mario. All right. I mean, that up smash is such a good anti-air option because it's invincible on the head too. And that shield as well too. All right. It does it does a lot to say the least. It's probably like a top like three up smash in the game. I'd say so. I definitely say so. Then Wolf's especially as well. Wolf scoops you. Fox is like super quick. Mm -hmm. And see, it's good at shield too. It's good at it's good at shield. It's good off of a combo. Screaming really quickly in losers. Rob's actually lost to Nitro. Mm -hmm. Probably making a loose run. Sugar over Rafi. Sugar playing Yoshi. So Yoshi versus Bowser and Palatino. Specklar lost to K9, who also is making loser run. I don't think K9 lost earlier, though. Uh, all right, but here we go to game four, uh, Master Mario versus Nico. And yet again, you can see Nico just like kind of like pulling back, be like, okay, I got blown up for kind of abusing, like not abusing my sword enough. Let me abuse my sword more. And yeah, like he's just like, okay, I got my one hit, and like I'm gonna just wait for you to do a, a button and like try to see if I can punish that. Even with that shieldman out, like, that's why I was trying to get so much off of that, but still, even though his comments were doing too much when Nico was the heaviest character in the game. Right. I mean, that shieldman auto has saved them from eating like so much percent at their early combo stages. Definitely. Just such a such a good option for King have just a character shenanigans, to say at least. And now, like you see Mario kind of just like struggling to get in, but you know what? Like I feel like Master Mario will be able to pull through eventually. Like he's gonna find his one opening and he's gonna up smash you for it. Oh, oh but, but no, that, that, we'll see if that's even, even happened here. Oh, but he manages to drift on stage. You know, I feel like Nico thought he was dead, but you know what? Like you, you don't assume they're dead until they're off screen. Mm -hmm. In that case, Mar Master Mario did a great early up B as well, too, to get, actually, actually get out of the way. He's going fishing for the up smash as well. I don't blame him. That's such a good option. Right. But Nico's fishing for that perfectly timed up B to take that stock. All right. Nico's just like, okay, I let you come back to stage one. So I'm not doing that mistake again. I'm going to kill you with this up B. Nico's super good at timing that. Like, whenever whenever you play against a character that covers, that covers up most of the time, like he's, he's, just, he's really good at just timing that, just getting stock. He's, he's just early stocks from that. But yeah. And here we go. There's a. We got a great combo out All just right. so far. <laughs> Bring him on to about 70 percent. And I like that. You know, he he landed with uh, the Nair and be like, okay, let me run away. And like Mario's too slow to do anything when he was in speed. I think it was like the same shield just a bit here though. Oh, back throw into. The forward air been amazing there if I got that. It's oh, but that, that percent. You know, that forward tilt going to uh, take out Mario's stock super early, and now Nico's staying healthy on three stocks. Forward tilt also be one of like Shulk's more more powerful options at at like, without like Smash Art on. Right. I think you're going to do it. Oh, he's oh dead. my goodness. He's dead. Yep. <laughs> That's a three stock from Nico. No. I did not expect that game to be a three stock. How close it was early on. I mean, yeah. I feel like Nico's just like, ha ha ha! I found my fair, and I took your double jump. You're dead. He's, he's very in phase. Just another day in the office for him. Yep. I'd be popping off if I was in this here right now. <laughs> but it's okay. Nico's not a player to show much motion at all. And honestly, it's probably pretty good. 
because motion can definitely like override a lot of what you're doing in game. If you play, if for example, if you're like very angry, you could be a little more aggressive when you want to be, right. right where you shouldn't be really. It's like I like that. Stay more composed. And, like this, stay more composed is very important in Smash because of that. Right. But now can Master Mario uh, make it back from that three stock? You know, you know, and be like, okay. I realize he's playing this a lot better, so let me let me up my game too. And that's kind of like the that's why I love Smash. You know, it's not just like your character beats my character. It's like okay, why did your character beat my character, and how do I beat your option? And it's like that rock paper scissor where you get better, so I need to get better, and I need to get and I get better, so then you get better. And it's that it's that growth in the exchange that we have. Uh, that's why I love Smash. Yeah, exactly. Like no magic is straight up impossible. It's everything can be overcome as long as you know how as long as you learn how to do it. Really. All right. Like certain matchups are harder than others. Certain characters have more tools, but like, can you deal with those tools? And if not, like, is it a character thing or is it a, a you thing? If it's a you thing, then like, can you learn from it? And if it's a character thing, then what do you do? Do you switch characters? Do you do you pick up something new, or do you learn how to do something new with your character? And for someone like Master Mario, he, he pretty much only plays Mario in this game. That was a super good episode there. Is he deaf from that? No, no, barely. <laughs> It's only like Master Mario he plays only Mario, so like if he if he can't do it with Mario, then yeah, <laughs> what's he gonna do? Yeah. But Master Mario is very much a player who can do it with Mario. But Nico can get that F till and stay on stock though, take this first stock. Right. And here we go. Uh, you know, Master Mario needs to find this quick stock. Now he gets the bear off stage, gets the fireball, gets another fireball, but not going to be able to find it. But he gets that second bear because, like, you can do two off of a short off, and that's so stupid. Mm -hmm. That was good, though. Yeah. <laughs> DK the exact same way, but it's also stupid, but yeah. All right. And yet again, here we go. There's the fair, and then you know Nico was oh. looking for that second fair off stage. He really wanted that. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, is that going to be punished? But I mean, he's in ma uh, Smash, so like, that's not going to do a whole lot of damage. Oh, they finds the bear and not going to be able to quite find a fair off stage. Oh, but gets the up bear or up, up B. And so yet again, he's just keeping Master Mario off stage. And Master Mario hasn't been able to get back to center stage in a good minute. Oh, that was a sick combo. You didn't see that. <laughs> down throw, Buster down throw into cancel into up B. That was tr it looked true, honestly. That was sick. Okay. But yeah, shield once again, almost taking it. Nico's being very good right now. Just, just, he's using his options really well right now, basically. He's being very defensive. Trying to make Master Mario approach more than anything else to get in. Right. That's where Tolkien is trying his matchup, especially. Oh. That can do it? Oh He's my goodness. Dead. With no. all the rage. Oh my god. You know that was like a single point ah, hit. Too. And now we, we are at 0-0. Zero, zero. Final stock. Game 5. We are in a tight situation right here. This is make or break to say at least. All right. Whoever can get an opening right here probably might be able to take the set at this point. I mean, the, the game basically comes down to will Nico you know, just wall out Mario? And get the edge guard. Or will Mario just just explode with an ex with a combo and then just take Nico to the skies or to the hell? And yet again, Favor seems to be pointing towards Nico at the moment. That's Mario just not getting the right opening right now. Just, right. Ooh, that is twenty percent Buster. That's yeah. super good. And you just see Master Mario just struggling to get in. Nico just setting up He's the wall to of points. full. He's setting up his wall of fortress and solitude right here because he oh, is not letting him in. But it's only, just only a, a quick combo though. Can't get. This is super intense. Very close. Right. Oh, but here's Smash on deck. You know, all he needs is one hit. He needs to run away. Is what he needs to do. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, oh, nice. Oh! No! Oh no, my god! <laughs> Master Mario, you are a demon! You're a madman, dude! What the heck was that? Master, he stole he that game! Away. He just walks away he after that one. <laughs> he, 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 is, is, is that our sin? Because I think I just saw a Phantom Thief right there. Because, damn! Oh my god, Master Dirt. Mario!